All right. My name is Linda, and we are in my office at Georgia Tech. I'm a research scientist. I'm looking at the immune system and specifically immune cells in normal healthy people and how they differ. It's like you could compare healthy people and someone with a certain disease and see uh, what has changed. I'm from Sweden originally. I was really into reading and animals and watching nature shows on TV. Do you know who David Attenborough is? So he does these nature shows, and when I was a kid, they were on once a week on TV, and I would just watch them. And he would wear khakis, and he would be like in Africa going, we're looking for the rarest animal in the world, and here it is. And I wanted to be him. I wanted to wear khakis, I wanted to go to Africa, I wanted to study lions. So um, when the time came to go to college, I went into biology. And then about three years in, I realized he still had his job and he wasn't about to give it up. <laughs> and there weren't really that many high paying jobs studying lions in Africa. So um, I was a, l a bit of a loss. But then I took a course in immunology and I just found my thing. And it's just so interesting. My research focuses on analysis of single cells in populations. So not just one cell, but say a million cells because we have these cool new techniques now where not only can you see what a type of cell is doing, but you can go even further down and see what each individual cell looks like. We can look at like what genes one cell is using, for example, what proteins um, one cell is making. So if you go into our lab, first of all, what you would see would be that it doesn't look like the TV series where it's all stainless steel and shiny surfaces and people in pristine white lab coats who all look really good and have makeup on, you'll probably see a lot of people pipetting things and looking in microscopes and you'll see shelves full of test tubes and bottles of strange liquids. Sadly you won't see things boiling and bubbling that are green and look like the Halloween witches things. That's a bit disappointing. <laughs> Most of our things are small and a few drops and in tiny, tiny test tubes. I'm the one who orders all the materials and handles all of the equipment so that they're up and running and make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Um, I'm also the research scientist, which means that I do research on projects that are not necessarily mine. We collaborate with other labs because they need my help to do a specific type of analysis. I might grow cells because another lab needs a certain type of cell that we have and they don't. What I'm hoping is that eventually when I put together my results, and the new knowledge that I've acquired, that it, it will be useful for other people. Someone else can take that and go, oh, and we have these people with a certain type of cancer. Maybe we can look at this in them and see what's different. And maybe that can be something we can use um, to develop ways of treating them. Every now and then, you'll find something. You'll find a clue, or you'll look at, you'll look at your entire data set, you'll analyze it, and you'll see a pattern and you'd be like, I've discovered something. I've discovered something that's out there that I didn't know, that no one knew before. And that feeling is, <laughs> that feeling is why we do science. Don't think at age 18 that what you decide to do now will define what you're going to do for the rest of your life. You can always change your mind, especially if you go, um, if you go to college and you get a degree in science. I get to go to work every day and do something that I'm really interested in. I, I get to spend my entire life doing something that makes me happy to go to work on Monday morning. And that's worth all the effort. If you are interested in it, go for it.